वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर्स यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू गाइड यू फॉर थ्री बिग मिस्टेक्स इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रेजिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग इफ यू वांट टू बिल्ड योर हाउस एंड दैट इज जी प्लस वन स्टोरी इट मींस ग्राउंड फ्लोर प्लस फर्स्ट फ्लोर सो वट आर द्री कॉमन बिग मिस्टेक्स इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रेजिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग सो देर फॉर वॉच दिस वीडियो टेल द एंड टू नो अबाउट थ्री बिग एंड कॉमन मिस्टेक्स the first one is guys here suppose this is road level okay means road level rl okay so from the road level what should be the height of the building okay or height of the residential house as you can see residential building residential building plant level you can say plant level what should be the plant level for residential building as you can see this is ground level so remember guys before starting residential building you should know that the plant level are your building height from the ground level or from the road level should be minimum at the height of Two feet and six inches. This is minimum. Two feet and six inches. It should not be less than this. That's why. What are the uh, problems there? Okay. So let me. So this is your house front elevation. Suppose okay. These are ventilation, etc. And here you can say that. this is kind of main gate you can say this is a kind of main gate okay so showing the main gate so that should be the plinth level it means like this okay you building height should be start from here from this plinth level to this floor level which you you can keep up to 11 feet 11 feet okay so but from the road level it should be minimum 11 feet plus 2 feet and 6 inches so you can say this is 13 feet and 6 inches this is full height from the road level so what's the reason behind this as you know after one year or two years the road level is going to the upward side for example 6 inches minimum 6 inches but normally they are keeping about 6 inches and 9 inches from 6 to 9 inches they are keeping okay but after 2 3 years again they are doing uh, the uh, you can say uh, so they are making like concrete or brick work okay or anyway so they are going for example this is road depth okay road depth means after 4 years minimum after 4 years they are going up to 12 inches so when you are when they are going to the upward side so within within 15 years they are coming to this level to this plant level so therefore when you are keeping the height of the plant level more than this you will be safe otherwise one day will come here for example after 15 or 16 years the road level will be here this will be the road level that's why because after 4 year 3 years 2 years it depend on the government especially in pakistan afghanistan in india they are going to the upward side in africa okay but they are not removing the old material but directly they are placing the brick work or they are placing the concrete or bitumen so the depth is going to the upward side so when it's going to the upward side your house level or plant level should be inside the road level in that case the flood level is going or the flood or everything will be go uh, enter to your house this main gate and it can affect your building so this is one of the big mistake it means minimum it should be 2 feet and 6 inches so therefore i am recommending you normally you can keep from 
3 feet and 6 inches. Okay. So, here this level you can keep down, but the building level should be up from the road level. Otherwise, you will face more problems. This is very important. So, this is the first big mistake. Now, what is the second big mistake? Okay. Plant beam construction. Plant beam construction. And most of the house, you can see the seepage. Okay. What is the reason? Because as you can see, for example, this is foundation. Suppose foundation is 4 feet. Okay. And we are directly placed the brick masonry. Like this, okay. So, on the top of the plinth level, we are placing the brick masonry. So, before plinth level, you should provide DPC, uh, DPC, not DPC, but you should provide plinth beam here, okay, to get a soft surface. On the top of that, you can provide the brick masonry. Otherwise, the seepage is going to the upward side. So, therefore, these are also brick masonry in the foundation when you are providing brick masonry for house construction. So, they, uh, these are the same thing. So, therefore, the seepage can directly transfer here. Okay. And this seepage is going to the inside house. Then that is called wall cancer. It cannot be repaired. You can't do anything on that time. Okay. We have a lot of methods uh, to, to remove the seepage from the house. But that is very expensive for you people. So, therefore, plinth, level is ve plinth beam is very important to make a good bond uh, between column and beam okay and that is a kind of monolithic building so therefore it becomes strong and after because seepage can't go easily inside the concrete but in brick masonry it is very easy on the top of the plinth level you can provide uh, the polythene sheet or the plastic which can uh, be a kind of uh, waterproof so therefore this is very important plinth beam should be provided and you can keep the size 12 inches depth and 9 inches width okay for normal residential building up to Two story. This is very important. Next, guys, the top beam is also very important. Third one is floor beam. Why it's important? Because suppose this is a house front elevation and this is the slab. When you provide the Okay, this is brick masonry. So, on the top of the columns, when you directly place the slab, so this is RCC slab. Okay, so when the load comes on the top of the slab, okay, any kind of load, so it directly transfer on the brick masonry wall. But if you provide the beam, floor beam, on the top of floor beam, when you are providing the slab, so slab transfer the load to the beam and beam transfer the load to the columns and columns transfer the load to the footings. So, this is load transfer mechanism. So, floor beam is very important because when you want to remove the wall anywhere and you want to extend your uh, room or if you want to extend your living room, anything, so you can remove the wall anywhere. This is just a kind of partition wall. But if you provide the slab directly on the top of the brick masonry or any wall that is called load bearing wall, so you are not able to remove or extend or remove the wall from there. So, guys, these are three big mistakes which I have discussed in front of you. Residential building length level should be minimum 2 feet and 6 inches, but normally 3 feet 6 inches is okay. But the plinth level is very important uh, for the uh, house construction. When you directly place or uh, start the construction of brick masonry on the top of the foundation, so you have more chances of seepage. So when you are providing the slab directly on the top of brick masonry and you don't provide the floor beam, you will also face more problems because it can't uh, uh, give you a good strength. That's why because plinth beam are floor beam transfer the load to the columns and the walls are free. In that case, you can remove, you can extend, you can do anything with the wall. So, therefore, these things should be remembered before starting residential building. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.